I'm going to be doing a new video posting schedule on my YouTube channel. It's going to be called Mouse Trap Mondays, and every Monday I'm going to load two new videos featuring different traps that catch mice and rats. The reason I'm doing that is some of my most popular videos I've ever loaded have been on primitive and survival traps for catching mice and rats. One video has over 4 million views alone on it, and total my trapping videos have over 6 million views. And because they're so popular on YouTube, now when people type in Google or YouTube on how to catch a mouse or what mouse trap to buy, my videos come up and I get questions every day from people interested in what uh, is the best mouse trap you can go buy. It's not really related to what I've posted with the primitive survival traps, but since I get so many questions, I thought, why don't I just go to the hardware store, buy every modern mouse trap I can find, set up the motion cameras and show them actually being used uh, in the barn with rats and mice entering them do a review on them. So that's what I'm going to do. Every Monday you're going to get a new mouse trap that you can buy now. And then a mouse trap that's not used anymore. It might be an ancient mouse trap that was used by Native Americans to collect food or a vintage or antique mouse trap. So what I did is I started going on eBay and uh, buying antique mouse traps. I didn't know it was such a thing with collectors, but there's a huge variety. I discovered mouse traps have a really interesting history. There's over 4,500 different patents for mouse traps and uh, every year they have about 400 different new patents submitted and they prove about 40 of those. So there's a huge variety of mouse traps and a really interesting history and some of the early mouse traps were actually more complicated. For example, this one has a lever where the mice enter, the door closes, they climb up, they drop down into a bucket of water in this tin, drowned, and as they do so, it resets and they can catch another one in a little assembly line. That's a really complicated trap. This trap here is from 1870s. It's one of the first trademark traps uh, ever invented, and it works great. And uh, as you go through later, they, they design the, the more basic snap traps, which we still use today. So I had a lot of interest in learning different patents, different inventors, and a lot of different creative ways of catching mice. Everything from putting a spiky lid on a jar uh, to these tombstone traps for catching rats. So you're going to learn mouse trap history, uh, both survival traps and uh, just antique and vintage traps. So many different ways from chokers to uh, catching them in jars. And it's pretty interesting. I'm fascinated with it. And I'm going to be taking these antiques that are on display at the Smithsonian U uh, Museum because they have so much historical value. I'm going to go set them up and show you how they work in uh, today's times on mice. They still work great even though they're over 100 years old. So two new videos, an antique vintage or ancient mousetrap and a new modern mousetrap. Also, I have to be a little careful what I show because YouTube has censored some of my videos. People get really upset uh, seeing mice die and rats die. This is for educational purposes and I even eat one of the rats in a video. I get so much hate mail every single day from animal rights people that are really upset that I kill mice and rats and uh, they complained so much that they got that one video censored and taken down and uh, I didn't really like that so because you complained and got my videos taken down now you're gonna get two new mousetrap videos every Monday and uh, it's gonna be educational it's interesting it's learning about history and uh, it's gonna be fun so stay tuned because every single Monday we're gonna have a new video the first uh, mousetrap Monday we're gonna feature the electronic mousetrap showing you how mice enter this trap and actually are killed with a zap uh, shot of electricity that stops their heart. And I'm going to do a primitive uh, mouse trap that works really good on rats. It's the Spanish windless snare. I've already showed you how to do a Spanish windless trap where they come around and get hit in the head. And uh, I've shown you how to do a Mojave scissor snare. Well, this is just a standard snare on a windlass, and it works so good. I caught a rat last night. I'm going to be loading that video, too. So stay tuned, comment, and uh, thank you so much for your support. Hopefully you enjoy this. And don't worry, I'm also going to still be doing bushcraft, survival, archery, history videos on top of that. So this is just a bonus where I'm still going to be doing a bushcraft, archery, or survival uh, video every week on top of the Mousetrap Monday.